Hi everyone, welcome to this week edition of the Java Tip of the Week. Today we're going to resume our last session about streams and we're going to input lambdas into them so we can see how we can simplify all the anonymous in the classes that we added in our stream example and make it much more cleaner and easier to read. Now, picking the code from last week, we can see how we can simplify our streams API code using lambdas. Before moving to that, let's see what a lambda is. So lambda is just a function uh, with a parameter and a return value that's used to, compu to computate uh, some behavior. Now, before Java 8, you will have to implement methods. But now with Java 8, you can implement lambdas instead, and you can pass these lambdas uh, around to implement all kinds of behavior uh, that you need to, to perform. Now, how can you write the lambda? So picking up uh, again our streams, we can say items dot stream and put dot map. And here you can see that uh, my map receives a function which is a mapper. So you can use lambdas every time you have uh, an interface that only has one abstract method to be implemented. Usually those interfaces are marked with a notation called functional interface, and that will tell the compiler that you can use a lambda instead of actually using anonymous in a class. Now, a lambda, as I told you, has parameters. So let's put a parameter in, which is an, an object. So we can type a name, like an O. And then uh, we tell that's a lambda like by using an arrow uh, syntax, like a dash and a greater than. So after the error, you implement the body. Uh, in this case, we want to cast it uh, yo to an auction. And that's it. This is our first lambda. Um, now, let's expand this lambda to see uh, some other properties. So I can expand it like this. And it's, of course, uh, as I told you, it has a return value. But since uh, Java already knows that this functional interface is going to return the value, we can omit the return and make a simplified expression uh, omitting the return. Also, um, sometimes people say that Lambda is not very uh, Java is not very dynamic because you have to type all the time. That's not exactly the case. It, as you can see, I could I can omit the object type here when I'm uh, assigning um, the parameter O to the lambda, because we're already iterating a streams uh, of the objects, so I don't really need to tell uh, Java that I'm having an, uh, an object of type object, right? So this is, a, this is a more complicated expression, and I can also come here and say, replace it with the anonymous in a class, which is the exact same uh, one that I implemented last week. But let's keep the simplified one. Now we can continue the writing the, the stream by filtering it. And writing a lambda to filter with a arrow a dot get buyout greater than 100. And finally, let's do something with this. So on for each, we can say a arrow again am dot persist a. So we were able to write all this code just by this. So let's remove. And this is the old style. Now notice that actually um, the code that you write represents a problem that you want to solve. So you write, read it like, I'm going to stream my objects. I'm going to map them into an auction. I want to filter the auctions greater than 100, the buyout. And for each one of them, I want to persist them into the database. See, you just know what you, uh, what you type just by reading the actual code. So it's a cool thing, because if you write code this way, you're able to understand what's happening just by reading the code. One final thing is that you can even simplify even more the lambdas when uh, 
the methods that you're calling on the lambda body is the exact type of the one of the parameters. And in that case, you can call the method directly using a method reference, just like this. So it's called like am colon colon persist. That's a method reference, and you can simplify the lambda even more. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed my uh, lambda explanation and how I simplified this code. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and see you next week.